Now, do you want to get some cheap games very, very cheap? Well, then you need to be checking out Instant Gaming, the link in the description of this video. They sell all type of games, including all the need for speeds for the PC and some from the consoles. Or just a large like group of games. Trust me, you do not want to miss it. And we also are doing a giveaway as well, where you could win any game of your choice, also including need for speed. Hey, good luck. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we've got quite a lot of stuff to actually talk about in need for speed. He included multiplayer, stuff that we may have actually missed from like, the Gamescom gameplay. Trust me, I've been going through through some quite a lot of footage and there's some pretty awesome stuff in there that i think that needs to be addressed and say in this video so anyways before we have to do against that i'm giving away copies of need for speed here all you've got to do is comment down below why you think you should win it and also subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter because that is where i'll be announcing the giveaway winners so yeah good luck so we've actually got just over a month we've got roughly around 37 days until need for speed he actually does get released so we can actually get hands on it and explore Palm City. Now I actually did want to do a video like this a couple of days ago but I thought it wasn't ready because we didn't have too much information to actually explain within a video but now we actually do and it's very exciting with some stuff that's actually around the map that we didn't know before. Now the first thing I wanted to address is basically look at the graphics of the game. It looks absolutely beautiful, the nitrous, the fire coming out of the exhaust, it looks all legit and just just so real. Before we actually do talk about the multiplayer, I want to go through some footage from the Gamescom demo that not a lot of people have actually seen, to be honest. And like I said, there's some really good stuff in the map, like just Palm City, there's some secret areas that we actually didn't know about before. But after this video, you will know. Now, one of the things is actually during the Gamescom, someone's actually getting chased by the police, and then the next minute, they actually came onto a speedway circuit. Now, by the looks of it, there's some racing circuits inside Palm City, and this is just the perfect example. You're getting chased by the police, and then there's like the speedway circuit, and then you can literally just do as many laps as you possibly want and just tease the police. But the police are absolutely completely different in this game. They've got their own personality, they've also got they're just a lot harder, and they do actually do a lot of tricks that will actually shock you within the system of Need for Speed Heat. With that being said, though. There's still a quite a lot of complex to actually do to actually get rid of the police. Obviously, we've got to get the cooldown zone as well. So you're basically on like, a, I don't know, a five-star heat police chase. And then you've got to try your best to actually get away from the police, the helicopters, those awesome, most anticipated rhinos. And then you've got to get into a cooldown state and then actually lose the police. Or you're actually are just going to get busted, which is obviously not what you want. Because you want to keep all that money you have got in your wallet. One of the other cool things as well, like in Need for Speed 2015, you was like tied down to like certain areas of the game. So if you get rid of the police, basically very difficult to actually do that. Because you, can, you couldn't go off the track. Like say like you see a wall, you couldn't smash through the wall. And then try and go like straight onto a dirt track and try and get away from those coppers. But this time around on Nip Speed Heat, you can literally go anywhere on the map as long as there's like another road connecting to it. So say you're like quite high in the in, in the sky, in the mountains. Let's do this as an example. You're in the mountains and you're on a road, and the next minute you can literally just ramp off as long as I, as long as there is another road following on, then you will be completely fine. There's only just certain areas basically like I don't know, like say if you're like on a bridge and then you want to ramp off the bridge, you can't do that simply because why would you want to do that but at this moment in time obviously i had my hands on need for speed heat that is basically the only barriers i've actually seen within any type of gameplay that has been posted on youtube other than that you can drive anywhere you want and that is just freaking awesome because you're not tied down to that certain road and you can actually do your own tracks and do whatever the hell you can do racing or basically just get rid of the coppers it's completely up to you you're free to do literally anything you want around palm city now let's talk about the gas stations now obviously we know in need for speed payback every time you went around the map for the first time ever you would find some gas stations and i think it was roughly around i don't know roughly around i don't know 10 between 10 to 20 gas station in need for speed payback well the same thing actually does apply to need for speed heat as well we've actually got gas stations within that game i'm just hoping as well that we're actually going to be able to get some 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 abandoned cars or something like that in need for speed heat that would be pretty cool as well but yeah back to the gas stations so obviously we're gonna have gas stations dotted around the map once we've actually got around the map and explored it all they're going to be popping up and then obviously we can do what we could do in need for speed 
payback and that is by spawning those gas stations if you want to get closer to a race spawn at that gas station the race will probably be just around the corner and you'll get there a lot quicker instead of driving so now obviously we don't know where the, the gas stations are spotted around all the map but obviously once need for speed heat does get released I'm going to be putting tons and tons of content on Need for Speed Heat, trust me. I'm going to be showing where the gas stations are, if there's derelict builds, I'm going to be showing that, as long as the best builds as well for any car in the game. So make sure you do actually stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's going to be really, really good. And you can tell by the graphics, the gameplay, this Need for Speed, it's just something different and something special this year. And it's not going to let no one down. It really isn't going to let no, down, no one down. So that obviously makes it even more special because I haven't seen no one criticize this game yet which is obviously a really good thing and that is what the creators of Need for Speed was actually wanting. Within Palm City there's actually a different type of location as well where there's loads of ship containers. Now to me what that basically is showing me we can't really see much about it in the footage and we don't know how big it actually is but that to me is going to tell us that we could do like a hide and seek lobby within multiplayer on Need for Speed Heat. That would be perfect like you could literally just block some corners off with like other vehicles or whatever you want to do. We don't know how it's going to go at this very moment of time but you can actually hide in shipping containers and even between some shipping containers as well there's some ramps so basically if you're trying to get rid of someone go for a ship container and go about i don't know 20 50 feet in the air in your lamborghini whatever you're driving to get away from a certain opponent it's gonna be really really cool and obviously yeah yeah just hide and seek in need for speed he is gonna be a definitely different experience what it was in need for speed payback considering the graphics the gameplay the weather we've got so much stuff against us but then again we've got so much stuff for us as well and considering multiplayer lobbies as well we can actually do a 16 player lobby in need for speed heat which is just awesome and it definitely is going to be very fun now obviously i want to talk a bit about multiplayer because there hasn't been much mentioning about multiplayer on need for speed which is a shame but then again we're going to address some things right here on this video so obviously we've got an article right here that we're actually going to read off that tells us a tiny bit about multiplayer and yeah it sounds pretty interesting but you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this video so we've also got multiplayer makes a city feel alive you're free to keep your street race alive private but if you want to get involved in multiplayer the game supports a 16 player server so we can have 16 players in a server doing cops and robbers or hide and seek it's completely up to you what you want to do but 16 players is pretty big hopefully in a little later update they'll update it to like i don't know a 30 player lobby we don't know hopefully they will we'll see it later on in the future also you're free to invite races you meet free roaming to the map events keep them npc only or form a party with friends and tackle activities together that telling me there is you can both like do mission story missions together in the single player mode but as multiplayer you understand what i mean so yes yeah, if you're like struggling on one event you could also have your mate by your side and doing an event with them and actually completing that event together so say if like i don't know this is this is a perfect example say if you've got a mate and he's not really good at driving games but you are and he needed to come first in the race to complete the race what you could then do yeah yourself you could basically crash into the other races so they get put behind while he's miles ahead and you could basically just help people out like that and that's a really good way to actually play a game and share your advantages over players and yeah it just makes it a lot more fun driving around with your friends and doing the story campaign together and that is what it is telling me there and also other activities as well so following on this article we've also got ghost game suggests unexpected events that come from a multiplayer open world is reason enough to keep your palm city open to all especially at night because unlike day events are, aren't separated into a private server picture the scene you're completing it in a night race and another player unrelated to your current event blast past with a pack of cops in all doing so blam they cause a pile up that takes out the rest of the competitors that is basically what i've just explained a second ago that you get to do with, with your teammate or whoever you're playing on need for speed heat online with it's just another way that Ghost Games is adding to spice up the open world racer. Palm City looks to be a dangerous place to make your mark as a street racer. But that's also what makes it so enticing. So yeah, we've got really good for, we've, we've got good information about multiplayer there. I know it's not a lot, but then again, it's telling us it's telling us that we could expect big things with multiplayer now as soon as the game gets released and later on in the future. There's a couple of things I want to actually explain what I think would be a good idea to like add into multiplayer on Need for Speed here. 
And that is different game mode lobbies. So basically you start up the game, start up multiplayer, in a lobby with your friends or just random people, and you can choose certain game modes, like say like infected, cops and robbers. You know what I mean? I think something like that would be actually really, really good. And it's got already tracks or areas planned out for you, just to make it a bit more fun and a mo lot more better. And it keeps people enticed in the game. And they won't get bored at all. And that's just something that's really important with multiplayer and will keep multiplayer really, really good going. Because say you can have like your proper upgraded Lamborghini just racing, I don't know, an old Golf GTI. And they both manage to like, I don't know, stay apart with each other. Because obviously we know about, we know about engine swaps. So we never know what builds we could actually do later on in the future, which is actually going to be really really fun and to actually see stuff like that it's gonna be awesome it really is gonna be awesome um but yeah i think that's what they should do different game mode lobbies in multiplayer cops and robbers already planned out for you or of course you could actually do your own plan courses as well so say you want to go from one end of one end of map to the other end but you want to do like some like secret routes or whatever you want to do the possibility is endless within this game at this moment in time and then it's going to be good to see what people actually do come up with within multiplayer and what other game modes they could actually come up with themselves in case they don't add multiplayer game modes into Nif speed heat but then again they could add it later on in the future as an update if we do get enough support with that if we don't already add it into need for speed heat i want to explain a couple of things like about drift zones say if you've got obviously you've got a drift build there was one thing that i was actually really really worried about will there actually be drift roads in need for speed here and that answer is yes there actually is and we've actually got some pretty good ones some windy ones and we've got some ones in the mountains as well which reminds me gives me like the need for speed carbon vibe when you actually do the first mission and you're in the mountains and you've got some proper tight turns and you're actually drifting yeah, it definitely reminds me of that and it gives me the vibe of Need for Speed Carbon because obviously if you go to the mountains on the drift track or drift roads it, and it's dark, it definitely is going to remind you of that scene and I can guarantee you right now there's going to be someone out there who's going to post a video straight on YouTube doing the Need for Speed Carbon zine scene in Need for Speed here and I, I can't wait to see that. I might even try and recreate that that race myself it wants need for speed heat gets released but we don't know so yeah we, the way it goes with drifting obviously we know that the handling is completely different and um, the tires actually do make a difference this time around whatever build you actually make this time around makes a difference as well as well as the power and horsepower and just and obviously just a massive complex of the different parts on a build is going to make the whole tire difference on what car and how it handles around the corners so that's one thing we've actually got to be careful of actually doing so yeah we've actually got drift corners so yeah we've actually got drift roads we can make obviously our drift builds the last best drift build that you can actually make on needs to be payback was the lamborghini hurricane believe it or not very strange i know but it was one of the best drift builds you can actually do in need speed payback i wonder what it's actually going to be in need for speed heat but we'll find that later on in the future Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's video. I wanted to like just explain and go a bit in depth of stuff that we actually do know about Need for Speed Heat at this very moment in time, as well as show you some footage in the background as well, proving some points. But yeah, if you actually did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are brand new to the channel, subscribe because we're nearly 100,000 subscribers, and I'm hoping we do get there before christmas that would be pretty awesome and don't forget about that giveaway that i'm actually doing as well as well as i'm doing another giveaway as well with instant gaming where you can win any game of choice and that includes need for speed heat so yeah good luck and i'll see you in the next one bye bye